Hi, Jeff Igley with HotelNewsNow.com. We're here at the HELP Conference in Boston, and I'm sitting with Rob Winchester, the President and COO of Waterford Hotel Group. Rob, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Give us a little bit of a, a snapshot of what Waterford's up to today in terms of your portfolio size, what you're focusing on. Um, right now we have 32 properties, uh, including a uh, convention center in uh, downtown Hartford. Going forward, we'd like to align ourselves with an equity group um, and find um, uh, acquisition opportunities. So we would go in as a sliver partner in those deals, strictly third party, and we're growing our organization in that direction. I think there's a lot of equity looking for deals, and um, so that uh, there's probably more equity than properties. And uh, if you can find the right deal, I think you can find the right equity. As, as you look for those strategic expansion opportunities, what markets are you looking at? Are you looking to have a hub and spoke approach around properties that already exist or expand your geographic presence? I think um, east of the Mississippi, Maine to Florida. And is there a specific property type that you really want to see? Um, yeah, well, I mean, history for us has been um, extended state brands, residence ins have been great ROI kind of deals. Uh, but I think it comes in all shapes and sizes depending upon the asset. And, and hips are an extremely important part of the lodging landscape right now. Can you yep. talk a little bit about what's going on in the PIP world? Yep. We're, um, I think, right in the middle now of doing five PIPs, uh, five refreshes. Uh, we probably have about $35 million of renovations underway or about to get underway. It's all about having the right product across the brand and not having detractors. So um, we um, have been able to kind of do what we needed to do with them. They've been open, but uh, they are starting to say enough's enough. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And clearly the, the, the advantage to that is, is once a PIP is done, in theory, you should be able to raise your rate, and that's the name of the game, right? Um, I'm not sure I buy into that, okay. you know? I think that if you've allowed your property to get so in disarray, then maybe that's true. But if you maintain your property, and it comes time to refresh, you're not rebuilding your customer, you're maintaining your customer as you've always, so you got them at the rate anyway. Governmental affairs, it's become more important than ever in the hotel world, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, so, Affordable Care Act. We've been working on a strategy for the last two years, so as we step, in, step into 1-1-14, um, we're in a position that um, we have a, an affordable plan. And we've communicated with all our associates this year through our 3-1 renewal about what it looks like for next year. And um, we've kind of modified our plan so that there's more deductibles and it's more um, uh, individual guided type of plans as opposed to everything's paid for so I'll get what I want when I want. Um, sequester, I think we don't really understand what it is. So there's more unknowns the government is allowing us to live within and you can't get all in, in my mind, when you have those unknowns. Um, you know, um, government's really controlling interest rates. And um, we didn't talk about interest rates today. But um, those move up a point, and hotels are back underwater. Move up two points, there's you know going to be a whole other thing. And the government has their hand on that dial. So that worries me as well. So the whole government uh, oversight and um, ability to turn dials uh, worries me. Rob Winchester, President and COO of Waterford Hotel Group, thank you so much. Thank you.